Hi, this is Rich Coles from Productive Project Solutions. This video is a short follow-up to my recent video, which was how to automate prefix selection for auto numbering. So having done this, I was contacted by Neil, um, who flagged to me that uh, there's an excellent answer to one of his recent questions by Paul Newcomb, who always does the most amazing solutions on formulas. Um, and so I looked at this one and I had a little tryout as well. And in terms of looking at the formula, what I did is I saw the formula and works brilliantly. The one point I'd flag on that is that it does it in number sequence. And so what you'd lose out is the prefix that you might have here. So I had a little play with Paul's formula and his solution here. And again, his solution, which was as per um, the what was written in, in here with his answer, which is, and uh, Neil said was work straight out of the box, much appreciated. So just in terms of going back to that bit, so that absolutely works brilliantly on, on that side. The one bit is if you want the additional prefix on that, then you need to make a few changes to it. And so what I did was I just added a few little items here to say that if the number was less than 10, to add a double zero in front of it. And if the number was less than 100, add one zero, otherwise, don't add anything. So what does that mean? It means that if the numbers get higher, so if I turn off that filter, which I've got turned on at the moment, you can see as I go down R5, R005, and as you go to the numbers here, I11, I10, and R11, 12. So you can see what I've got here is the risks, etc. go through in the numbers here. So if I now just go and make a change on the rate type, and I'm now going to change them all to be um, risks. So I'm gonna copy this one up and here we go. Let's just copy this all the way down to the bottom. Uh, and okay, and add that in. You can see now that all the prefixes happen automatically. So you've got the three digits R001 and it scrolls down to R081 to R120 on that bit. So here, obviously, this works exactly the same as per Paul's one. If I just undo that again, you can see here I've got I035 versus I35. So depending on what you need and what you want, if you want a single digit number which comes through and works brilliantly, then here you've got the formula which is uh, here and I'll, and I'll hopefully add it into the um, the comments for this video. If not, if you want to actually have the number sequence here, here's an alternative option, a bit more complicated, but again, taking Paul's solution initially, again, I've just added a few bits here. So if you are, if you want to have the numbers as per kind of, you might have it previously here, and this is a, you know, again, an alternative solution rather than these coming in number sequence, here you've got it in the actual RAID item sequence, then here's an alternative for you. So thought that might be useful for people. So thanks for watching and more videos to follow. Bye for now.